Good morning. Today we are going to see about genes and SARS-CoV-2 viruses. The first part of a topic is on gene deletion. Gene deletion has been identified to be the reason for the formation of number of strains in the population of SARS-CoV viruses and it occurs an increased frequency. What is the reason for gene deletion? So gene deletion is a mutation and the mutation results because of a loss. The loss happens as a base or it is a sequence of a DNA or it can be one gene or more genes and as a result the expression of genes will change and so that it will result in new strain formation. So the impact of gene deletion on the SARS-CoV viruses has been studied by a number of researchers. A few findings have shown that, for example, Young Yeol in the year 2020 showed that Delta 382 deletion will decrease virulence of the virus. Similarly, Mat Yeol in the year 2018 showed that the deletion of ORF8 sequences or DNA also decreased the virulence of the viruses. Similarly, another study by Benedetti Aol in the year 2020 showed that the deletion of NSP1 proteins, especially at the KSF amino acid residues in the C terminal, not only decreased the virulence but it also decreased the pathogenicity of the viruses. Getting into the next part of our topic, which is about how to track such gene changes in the virus population. So the current SARS-CoV-2 virus that is popular is COVID-19. And what people or the researchers or scientists do is that they screen infected individuals and when they screen infected individuals and found, find that they are positive for COVID, the samples from the positive patients are sent for further analysis such as genome sequencing and analysis of the sequence. So the analysis of the sequence will see what are the similarities and dissimilarities in the sequence. So this is the standard sequence of SARS-CoV virus. COV virus and any change in the sequence say for example there is a change here 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 will result in uh, showing that there is new strain in the population so any new such strain are kept on the monitor and this kind of approach for finding uh, any uh, uh, mutation sudden mutation that during a pandemic uh, or an epidemic uh, is uh, known as uh, genomic surveillance. The final part of a topic is about uh, receptors. So there is a receptor in the virus. The receptor in the virus is found on the viral protein coat which is called the S receptor or the spike protein. The spike protein will bind to the host cell at a specific receptor which is called ACE2 and it stands for as an acronym for angiotensin converting enzyme. And when both the virus spike protein and angiotensin converting enzyme binds, the virus will gain entry into the host cell where it will replicate and multiply destroying the cells. And thus will cause the disease. So what happens as a result of an increased affinity to ACE2. 
receptor in the host cell. It will result in increased transmissive of the disease that is the more disease will spread amongst the population there will be an increase in the virulence of the strain that is the strain will readily cause the disease and there will be an increase in the pathogenicity of the virus the disease will spread or will have more intense uh, response in the host uh, and the viral will uh, multiply more in the cells that is it will stay longer thus in today's topic uh, on genes and SARS-CoV-2 virus, we saw what gene deletion is and the impact of gene deletion cause a frequency in the to, to create more strains uh, uh, will usually result in deletion of particular genes and a few evidences uh, which show that most of the time it results in decrease of virulence uh, in the strain and how to keep track changes of such variations in the G, uh, in the population of the virus and that process is known as genomic surveillance and finally talking about the receptors the receptor on the virus is called the s or the spike protein and the receptor on the host cell is called ACE2 or angiotensin converting pro enzyme and an increased affinity to ACE2 results in increase in transmissiveness, virulence, pathogenicity and it also the virus will multiply more. Thank you for attending today's topic and we will see you again in another topic.